As we're kind of trying to nurse this kind of brittle tool into the hands of traders and trying to get it to work, I was um, wondering whether we were taking quite the right, what the right evaluation then of the was really to, to do this. Because although I, I think we are going to do that our, our uh, needs are special, um, I'm not sure we're that special. In a way, searching through uh, Twitter streams and other social media events to, to find a uh, media streams to find um, information related to. Um, uh, events and that kind of thing is exactly what journalists do. And I can't help thinking there must be other tools which do very similar things. And in a way, what we're doing is no different from, um, it's very little different from Twitter's default search. It finds all of the tweets that match a term and it ranks them by how often they're retweeted. And if we're going to, the IPC is going to invest a lot of money in a custom tool, its value over that has to be clear. Right. Similarly, perhaps more, more importantly, there's also things like Topsy. Now, I don't know if you know Topsy, but this is precisely a uh, social search, a search stream uh, device. So this is another company for a broad audience is trying to set up a set of tools that let you find uh, the social media streams. And again, you know, given this already exists and appears to be a stable business at the moment, um, should the IPC be investing in a competitor for something like this, or are we in a different business? So, if this is what we're trying to achieve with Twitter Stream, then we need to look at whether that's, um, uh, what if that's our advantage. But I think my other issue is that, as, uh, uh, as uh, came up earlier, it's not clear precisely the problem we're trying to solve. So, the, uh, the uh, kind of the paper that started a lot of this, it was one of the ones from the Old Dominion team, I think, yeah. was the one about all the social media that got lost in the Egyptian uprising and that kind of thing. And I would argue that's a different problem than the problem of finding um, important links about a topic. Because that's about event detection. We need to find events quickly and rapidly archive related media in a kind of preemptive fashion. And I'm not sure if these are the, that any of these are the right tools for that. There is. <coughs> Whereas uh, a different approach that some other researchers made was to actually look at Wikipedia as a tool for monitoring. And what they've done in this prototype is they look at event editing clusters happening in Wikipedia and then cross correlate it to it to see if it looks like a genuine news event. And so, uh, it's, uh, so something appears to be happening in with Microsoft Windows at the moment. You can see. And then it does some kind of um, thresholding to do things it thinks are breaking news candidates, which you then look through. So if we're using event detection, if we're really after event detection, we need something like that. Mm -hmm. If we're after discovering existing communities or more terms you know, around a topic, then that's a different use case. If, we're, if we are around discovering links related to topics, then that looks very similar to the top C use case. <coughs> and then finally, the use case you mentioned, which is it's also very interesting to look at how the use of new terms has changed over time. And kind of under the Twitter then name, uh, during the Olympics, I kind of hacked this thing together, right? and this really only looked at the, the term. So this was um, the usage of those terms, Olympic, Olympics, Olympian, <coughs> over time, and the top graph. Just uh, uh, This shows the overall number of tweets for those subjects over time. And if you look closely, you can see there's a kind of UK peak and a US peak in there every day. It's supposed to be kind of dual day cycle. And then from within that collection, I kind of pulled out the most popular other terms. And then uh, again, this, this unit test is really coping with this time scale, but it's possible to pick apart these peaks and look at the terms. But again, it's a different use case, it's a different tool. So, <clears throat> and my feeling is it could be even twofold. We need to pick one of these use cases now and evaluate the existing options that we have for them, and that might be if we want links around a topic, then I think we should put 
you know, um, the archive it, not coming to all the data that we're up against Topsy, and do a kind of try and do some kind of analysis of whether we found something we wouldn't have found using Google, basically. <coughs> or we need to kind of shift away from that and say, well, actually, they're, they're not. You know, those tools exist, people can use them if they want, and we want to solve all these other cases, we want to find the way terms are used over time, or we want to find you know, new terms or links to all terms that we would expect, like kind of correlate <coughs> these things. So, I mean, that's the book for this. How, what do you, uh, or how do you all think we should take this forward? <coughs> should we, uh, or the IPC should take this forward with Chris? Um, where do you think we should invest? Should we make Twitter bank better? Should we buy a subscription to the Archimem tool? Uh, should we all practice trying using Topsy and see how far we get? Or should we attack on these other problems, which are very close, but not quite the same, we need different curatorial um, help? I don't know. Any thoughts? I, I just, uh, I think in general, Andy, I think you're, what you just said is a pretty good summary of what we, where we are with this too. My, personally, I think, looks like, I would, I would really be very careful and cautious before we decide that we put more money into uh, Twitter Bank, whoever's money it is.
then it's indication of some sort of requirement. Then or if, even if it's, I, I, I would use it, but can you fix this kind of thing? That's also, you know, yeah. 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 that's also fine, but we need that case to push it forward. I, I think um, put, put it to the curators and the libraries, put yeah. all of the tools mm -hmm. and, and, on, and also point the interest to things like Topsy. Um, yeah. And let them use it in anger for, for a few months. Yeah. Um, and to elicit feedback to make it um, easy rather, rather than just what you think gives you your feedback. Um, mm -hmm. put, put some um, direct questions. Um, so how many, how many useful seeds have you, have you found? Um, how much of your uh, time <coughs> to, to get familiar with, with, with the tool? So that there's not too much of a, a burden on the case the library to, to give feedback. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one thing I didn't mention, which I did pick up, is that uh, people who took part in the evaluation all said, you know, the human, the human effort in using this is very minimal. <coughs> that's the one of the things they actually like. Yeah. 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 That, that's true. Yeah. Um, well, in my part, I have a, a real question uh, towards a... Uh, well, well, I listen to it. Oh, okay. <laughs>
Yeah, that really depends on kind of what you're looking at. I mean, if it's event harvesting, I think it's very useful. If, if it's the normal sledge procedure, for example, in balance standards or hours and hours, it's not, I don't think they would use this tool for this, but for, for like this short term, the events. Mm -hmm. uh, would you do me a favor, just keep us posted in terms of the selection, the reflection you set up on the dash? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, no, I, I, maybe I'll just go in the uh, Uh, 
Should we set up a, should we, can we use one of the existing? We can use the existing the mailing list. I have see members list, I think. Mm -hmm. I would suggest that. Members, is that too broad? No, there's not a lot of traffic on this list. <coughs> exactly. But I, I wouldn't, I mean, other people, I mean, how many members are there? You know, yeah. probably 150 people on the list. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Just one. And then raise a level awareness. Yeah, I, th I think yeah. I, I would yeah. just do it that way. Okay, okay. Yeah, one thing that I think is very important that this uh, this tool is open source and it's free for everyone to adapt and to, to use yeah. it. And that's what I like, I mean, to compare it to the other yeah, that we saw. I mean, yeah. that's not clear yet, but in this case, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I need to really develop, I think. You know, because understandably, they're running a business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, I mean, you know, they're using the very, they've got quite a complex infrastructure behind what they do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, ours is like to the job to talk about. <laughs> that, 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 yeah. But it does get yeah. 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 the, the other search engines, uh, obviously, is that nothing we just can, can use out of the box? Uh, it's a membership based uh, search so mm -hmm. No, it's just, it's just okay. there's enhanced, it's a freemium type model, you know, you get this yeah. Yeah, sort of basic search and yeah. stuff for free, uh, but there's an API which you have to pay for, uh, and yeah. so okay. you get more detailed information. Well, I mean, that's the thing we need to know, but people seem to like having a source version, and people seem to like the yeah. option of it, so people seem to like the kind of collection oriented aspect, which you don't get yeah. in these things. It is understandable. You know, so.
So we haven't seen Twitter veins. Uh, uh, Twitter's, yeah, Twitter veins is a three-stage protocol, and um, the first part is the, the stream engine. So this is the bit that actually connects to the uh, Twitter API, and um, these sections are disconnected so that they don't interrupt each other. So uh, here, if you put in your, uh, if you're setting it up yourself as we've done, you create your kind of app secrets on the Twitter um, uh, pages, and uh, if you want. Set up your Biggie details and uh, web proxy if you're running behind one. And um, that's in the configuration. And then once that's configured and set up, you can go into here and hit start. And uh, the way it's set up is it's, um, it kind of relatively rapidly reconnects to the API, runs for a while, and disconnects a little bit. Uh, I think to avoid getting kicked off constantly. And, um, yeah, it's configuration. Then, uh, yeah, so this part of the uh, uh, this application that's done as three separate kind of applications which run their own background processes. This one runs all of the terms that are in any of the collections uh, and uh, searches the Twitter stream for them. So that's how Twitter operates their API. You don't make ten connections to the API. You have to make one connection with all of your terms of interest and then do the post filtering yourself. And uh, oh, that's our secret. So, we have no to. Now, if there's been any errors, so for example, uh, yesterday, looks like there was a, an, a Twitter overload, so we have a while. You can know them there, and you can stop and start in space. The second application is the analyzer, so this is the one that um, actually. Uh, uh, I don't think it's the one, uh, but this one is actually in goes through the tweets that are in the database and uh, tries to extract the links and tries to count the links and tries to separate them by collection. So this is a second stage to decouple from the first one. And this, um, although you can do this, it's, uh, this is a kind of hangover from an earlier version where you had to manually process tweets. It now automatically processes tweets in the background, but it does lag behind by a few minutes as we saw earlier, uh, the collection. And this is slowly going up, but there must be something, uh, oh yeah. So the, the, that's the total tweets, that's uh, 100 weight of analyzed, and they found slightly more URLs and tweets I've got, so um, <coughs> some collections. You can also um, purge uh, either the tweets uh, themselves that you've processed, uh, or any kind of records that failed analyses, or you can purge all of the data if you need to from here. Uh, we don't make those buttons public. <laughs> and uh, then actually, I mean, pretty much that's it. Um, those two work as a, as a pipeline together in the background, and um, this uh, this uh, analyzer fills another set of database tables. Um, and then the pages you see in here are just um, the output from those same uh, database we made available to you. So. That's, it's a pretty straightforward uh, interface. It should run on any vanilla, it's all built to run on vanilla kind of Java Tomcat type services. I think, I can't remember what database it uses off the top of my head. I think it, it, we set it up with Postgres. Postgres? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, it used to use, uh, an early version used kind of internal databases, but they were very scary. So, um, but this runs perfectly fine on, we, it's running on one virtual machine, and although that virtual machine is quite busy, it does need a lot more. Uh, a lot of and uh, yeah, so the, the agent gets the tweets, the analyzer gets the links, and then the UA, which is the bit you guys can see publicly, um, presents it. And that's it. Any questions? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what happens if I delete all the collections? <laughs> Yeah, they're removed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it purges the. Or will it keep the admin? I mean, the admin. Yeah, I think if you delete the collections, it. As a user. Yeah. Yeah, as a user, it, it doesn't. It doesn't delete the. It, it, I think it removes the analysis. Okay. But it doesn't remove the tweets. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of thing that. Um, 
Yeah, that's true. One thing that it doesn't suppose to know which one could imagine doing is that if you do change your turns or change your collections, it doesn't go back through the tweets it's got and kind of re them. Right. Which you could do. Yeah. You know. I think you could force it to happen through this by purging the analysis and then making it happen again. But that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So at the same way to to look at that data from the uh, SM admin, if, for instance, if, I, if I'm a researcher, I would like to set up uh, uh, several collections, you could say that, and then afterwards maybe be able to look at the data, and then I would use the front end, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.